So it is the day before um, I am due to go to a photography awards ceremony um, to see some of my old friends who I haven't seen in about five years now. So I am going to be preparing and getting ready. So I am just going to take my son to school and then I am going to go to the beauticians because my nails have lasted me a very long time. They've lasted me since before Christmas, but they are now desperately in need of um, a do-over so as you can see they're a bit chipped so I'm gonna get that done um, and then I have some dresses coming and that I've ordered off ASOS um, that I'm gonna have a look and see which one of those I could wear um, I do have some more dressy dresses but what I saw from last year is that despite it being an award ceremony it was still um, relatively low-key in terms of what people are wearing so I just want to get the balance right on that so um, I will show you what um, I have ordered when they arrive later. So it is cold but it's also as you can see very sunny today which is lovely so I have decided I'm going to walk uh, to my beautician's appointment to get my nails done because uh, I need to get in my steps to get in my exercise um, so I'm going to hot foot it because I'm in danger of being late. My ASOS package has arrived with the dresses. I only ordered these late last night. Um, a kind of random selection of dresses that um, I have no idea what they're going to look like and obviously I'm not going to keep all of them. I'm just going to see what they look like on. I have tried on the dresses and I've got two no's and one yes. This is the first no. So this is just a simple black dress, but it does have, um, a, it is backless rather. So that's definitely the back, not the front, <laughs> um, unless you're feeling particularly brave, but no, that's the back and but it was just because it was backless and because it was short and because it was tight it just didn't quite cut it in terms of feeling elegant enough or from i think i'd feel too self-conscious in this one so this was a no uh, the second option was um, this one which looked really nice on the model it's probably it pro i don't know, really know why i got this because it's probably not dressy enough anyway uh, but this one was just a high neck and it had um, cap sleeves uh, and it just was quite simple in terms of time. But I didn't really like the kind of flared skirt on me. It didn't work. It didn't really show that in the in the pictures on the website, uh, but it was just too plain. And the other dress, I could imagine dressing it up, but this one just felt too plain and just didn't suit me. So what I have gone for, again, it is a simple dress. Uh, but I wanted to feel comfortable. So this is like, it's a long dress, as you can see, it's got a split up the side and it's just a t-shirt dress. Uh, but what I like about it, which gives it that little bit of evening gownish feel uh, or evening awards feel is that it's backless. So I've had to put a little bit of a tuck at the bottom there because I am actually a size eight. This is a size 10 because they didn't have the size eight. Uh, but sometimes I, when things are clingy, sometimes I upsize a little bit anyway, just so it's not so clingy and showing everything. But I'll wear this with um, some shapewear and some nice jewelry. And I've also got uh, these uh, little heels as well, which I'm gonna be wearing um, with this dress um, and I think once you accessorize if you have something really simple it can just look um, really elegant so that is what I am going to be wearing tomorrow. I just had to show you the girl I found hiding in my bed. I hadn't actually noticed when I started um, sorting out and showing the dresses that this little man had snuck up here and was sleeping. Are you hiding in mummy's bed? Baby. Hello. What are you doing? <laughs> are you hiding in my bed? You're not meant to be on my pillows. You're not meant to be on my pillows. Luckily I sleep on the other side, hey. <laughs> what are you doing in there? Have you made a little den? Have you made a little den, Bailey? You do look very cute. 
Shall I leave you to go back to sleep then? Okay, bye bye. So we're into the evening now. I've had a busy rest of the day. I've fed the children. I'm fed and um, now for the first time um, in a very, very long time, I am actually going to have a bath. My dress is ready uh, for tomorrow. I'm getting myself organised and um, I thought I would have a bath and I'm also going to give my hair a treatment. So I bought this in Superdrug. It is the Aussie SOS Repair and let me tell you, it smells amazing um so it's a really nice treatment that you can put on your hair just to bring it back to life and um, then um, i always wear a heat protector or use a heat protector as well so this is a new one that i'm going to try it's by schwarzkopf and it's a, a it's got keratin heat protect spray um with shine as well so hopefully uh by tomorrow my hair will be nice and glossy for the event so everything is on track and one more thing um, my room smells really nice right now because my mom um, bought me this beautiful candle and diffuser set um, by a mate called Sol and it is the perfect scent for my room because it is um, a lavender based scent um, which is perfect for aiding sleep but um, I've got the candle on at the moment I need to top up the diffuser because it's um, it's run out but it is just the most beautiful smell I'll show it to you now here we have my candle and reed diffuser set from Sol. The scent is lavender, which is just amazing for the bedroom particularly, but you could have it anywhere in your home. I've added in this old Dior bottle, which I love just to give it balance and placed it in this beautiful mirror tray, which was also a gift for Christmas. I'm now going to add into my bath this amazing bath essence which has a gorgeous scent of rose and jojoba oil. This was a gift from my friend, it's by Fruits of Nature and it just makes the water feel silky smooth when you get in. So I've had my bath and now I am going to apply this Bondi Sands Self Tanning Mousse. It says it's one hour express but I prefer to keep it on overnight and I will wash it off in the morning. Okay so I'm now going to dry my hair but I'm just going to put some of this Moroccan oil in um, to the ends of my hair first and then I'm going to put the heat protect spray on. habits for 2024 is journaling so most evenings not every evening but most evenings I will take my journal out as I get into bed and just write down my thoughts for the day what went well what I feel grateful for and it's just a great way of documenting my journey through 2024 so I can see what I've achieved and how far I've come to the uh, trade show and also get checked in.
So here we have the wonderful Julia and um, I have her lovely book, Chasing the Light. And now, thank you very much, I'm going to have shooters. I now need to pay for this, I'm not running away, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry, we'll chase you down. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm finally back to my room, having um, had a look around the trade show and also caught up with some people, um, had a drink in the bar, and now it's time to get ready for the main event. Um, it, the day started a little bit stressful, <laughs> getting kids to school, kids who didn't want to go to school this morning, um, and also having a bit of a, a self tan <laughs> disaster. I woke up and found that the tan, hence the high neck, the, the fake tan had gone into the lines in my neck. So I looked like I'd been um, garroted. Um, so I gave it a scrub that's made my neck sore and red um, because I over exfoliated trying to get rid of it. And I've got to wear that dress and I've got a really red neck. So I'm gonna to have to put lots of makeup on it and, um, and hopefully um, no one will notice might have to wear my hair like this tonight, <laughs> like a scarf. But anyway, I'm really looking forward to tonight and it's just so lovely just to be around other photographers and to be inspired by um, by their work and what they're doing and see what lighting people are using and just make great connections. So um, that's what I'm looking forward to about tonight and I will show you around once we get there, bye. So here is the finished look. These are my shoes, I've just painted my toes. This is my little bag and I'll try and show you from the back. As you can see, it's quite open from the back. So I, I am wearing um, a little um, all-in-one just to give me a little bit of shape in the body. So now it's time for me to go. finally back after what was an epic 24 hours we had such good fun last night at the awards dinner and also catching up with people that I haven't seen in ages just being inspired by so many incredible talented photographers and um, and yeah it was just really really great fun I didn't sleep particularly well uh, because um, I never sleep well on the first night in a hotel uh, we had a few drinks as well uh, but um, I am tired, but I'm so grateful that I got the opportunity to go. So now I'm just going to chill out at home and have a relaxing rest of weekend. Bye.